hello everyone you welcome back to today's tutorials hope you guys are all doing great because i am doing great too so thank you so much to everyone who stopped by to watch my videos thank you i am grateful so today i'm going to teach you guys how you can make your own bleaching agent at home the likes of hypo the likes of jigs that is um some of the brands that we have here in nigeria so just go to the description box below you're going to see all the names of all the materials materials and their quantity so we need soda ash then we also need chlorine now if you are making these there is no um, otherly way to add them also we need caustic soda and then we need white so the main ingredients for making this is chlorine and then this particular quantity is going to make for us five liters of bleach so um, there is also measuring cups that come in 2 liters, 3 liters and all the bread, but I don't have that at the moment. So I'm just going to improvise with this one. A cup is equivalent to 250 grams. So you're going to do the mass. If we have 250 plus 250, that is going to give us um, 500 grams. So for us to get 5 liters, we are going to measure 20 um, cups. So you just saw how I did the mask. I made sure I wrote everything on the screen. So just follow what I wrote on the screen and then we will measure them to the 20th cup. Now I am on the 16th cup, so 17, 18, 19 and now the 20th cup. So now we have 5 liters of water. So I will go ahead to measure the ingredients one at no we will go ahead to measure the ingredients one at a time so i'm starting with the soda ash which i will pour now please i have a link up here that will show a detailed video on how to use a measuring scale make sure you always start your measuring scale time means getting it to point zero so after measuring this out i'll go ahead to pour this into um, the water we have measured out before now this is the water no additional water this is five liters of water that we have here so i'm just going to pour this here and then go in with a wooden spatula or a plastic spatula anyone that you have and then stir this until you are very sure it has properly um dissolved even if it's not properly dissolved but no worry don't worry don't worry because we will still leave this to stay um overnight or even for 48 or for a longer hour now the second one we'll go ahead and measure our caustic soda always make sure you tie your measuring scale bring it down to point zero so that's going to pour this in and then it gave us 127 grams so the last figure you get is the actual measurement that you will be using so i'll go ahead to pour this into the water i missed that clip now the third ingredient we'll be measuring is our chlorine which uh, after measuring we're going to have 346 grams i'm going to write all of them in the description box below so you can just copy and paste anywhere that you like please do not forget to share this video share this video massively so a lot of people can see this video and help my channel grow and help my ministry grow so please guys i am so grateful now this chlorine is the main ingredient in making this chlorine will never ever ever dissolve to the last so just put it and then stay together as is as I'm stirring it together some parts will dissolve but the main component or a larger portion or a larger part of it will never ever dissolve but don't worry once it's into the water already the quantity or the active part that we want is already melted out into the water and it will help us give us the bleaching agent or the bleaching effect that we need so we just measured the white white also helps um in making sure that all the deaths go out those from the name white is a whitening agent is a clearing agent and it's also a bleaching agent but these are the four main ingredients that we will use in making now, now look at the chlorine just like i said initially it will not dissolve it will not dissolve so don't feel bad or don't feel scared when you start making yours and it's looking as if it is not it's not so yes it's very normal so when you are done stirring this together you're going to cover it and then set it aside and leave it for um 24 hours you do the first filtration after which we do it again so just go ahead and then mix this together and leave this for 24 hours 
so you can see what it looks like now we have a sediment and now a supernatural the sediment is just um the block or the parts that did not dissolve that are down and then the sediment is up so after 24 hours this is what i have after 24 hours now if you buy bleach and so after 24 hours which is the next day this is what we have so you can see clearly that it has separated we have a lighter solution which is up and then the dense part which is down so just roughly try to separate this pour this into another container you can see what we have if you buy bleach you can actually know that this is what the color looks like now this is the sediment you see that for yourself right now so what you can use this to make um scoring powder yes the powder that we use in washing the back of our pots um, a good brand is the one that we call vim yes so you can go ahead and then sun dry this or you can go ahead and dehydrate it now you're going to set this aside again for another 24 hours and then you separate again so before i do that i'm just going to use a little sieve as you guys can see in the video i will separate this and then let it stay again for another 24 hours so i'll just go for that to separate this one what i usually do is that i'm not selling it's not for commercial so i'm just going to separate this the much i can and then transfer this into different containers and then set them aside so not like i was saying earlier this part is used for making scouring powder that's the powder we use in washing the back of our pot so i'll just pour this into um a container and then set this aside what i use mine to do is that i use it in washing back of my pots and i also use it in scrubbing the tiles of my bathroom and my toilet so after um another 24 hours i'll go ahead to separate it again now you can see it's clearer is neater and then i got a new phone <laughs> you guys can also see that the video is more clearer so guys you see i go so much to make sure that i bring out beautiful quality for you guys always please always watch the video to the end and do not forget to subscribe like share and drop a beautiful comment guys i'm always here to read your comments i'm always here to answer your questions so i'll just go ahead to transfer this into my container now um before i finish filming this video i sent some to my mom that is why the quantity reduced